Okay, hey there. Here's a simple tutorial for a new technique in DALI 2 called uncropping or outpainting. So it's a familiar problem. See these? I've created a butterfly made of circuit boards. Just a little test thing to show you. And they all have the same problem where there's a bit missing from all of the wings. All of the tips are missing some. So let's just choose this one. This one's pretty cool. It's got a nice little shape of that bottom wing. I really like this one. And unfortunately, the only way to zoom out in DALI is to do it with an external program. So you're going to need something like Photoshop or hopefully we can figure out how to do it with a free program. Maybe the online version of Microsoft Paint. I really like that one. So got to download it using this little arrow that's at the top corner here. Now I'll do it in Photoshop first. Okay so let's try it in Photoshop. Go over to Photoshop. Open from your downloads folder. Here it is. Now in Photoshop I use the hotkeys, but maybe to make it easier, I'll try and do it without the hotkeys if I can remember. Um, wow. With, I'm just screwed without the hotkeys. All right, we got Command A to select all, and then Command T for transform, and then go to the corner, hold down Shift and Option so that when you drag the corner, it stays in the center and the same shape. See if I just do shift, it's going to stay square. If I don't do anything, I can do this, right? If I hold down option, it stays in the middle. Hold down shift and option, then stays square and stays in the middle. So shrink it down a bit. Look, I'm going to do even more. Hit enter to lock in the transform. File, save, save as. DALI 2 likes to have a PNG, so I'll save it as a PNG. I think you can use a JPEG as well. And I'll do uncrop one, ooh, one, save. I don't use any compression with a PNG. That's kind of the cool thing about them. Now, go back to DALI. You go up to this top left-hand corner and click on the DALI to go back to the start. Upload an image. And I just saved it into my downloads because that's a messy way of doing it. And you can select which part of it you're going to upload, but we want all of it leaving this blank area around the outside. And we're going to choose Edit Image. Now, when you're in the Edit section, you can scribble things out. You can change the size of your eraser tool. Big one. Let's use a big one. And we just want to get rid of all this black. Do, 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 do. All right. Now, you can see at the top here, erase part of the image, then describe your new er image. So you have to re-describe it again. There's a butterfly made of circuit boards. Generate. So this technique has pretty big ramifications with what you can do. It's extremely practical. The reason, do you understand why they call it uncropping? Because normally cropping 
you're taking away a bit of the edges. Oh, see if I can get this in. But uncropping, you're adding more edges. Now look at this. Bingo. We have the same picture. Oh, look, this one. It really wanted to have some of it missing. And I feel like that's a stylistic choice. Maybe it just thinks that's a nice image to not be framed perfectly. But we've got two here. This one goes complete to the edges. That one, it missed. And this one also goes complete. But I think I like this one. All right, so I hope somebody finds that useful. This is just the first little tutorial to get me started. Stay cool.